Hello, welcome to Recon Paint Gaming. I'm Patrick. Patrick, today we're going to be talking about Strain and Deplete, both at the same time, because they relatively have the same triggers, same effects, and also affect the dice very similar for attacking and defending as well. Uh, also, thank you so much for all your requests, because this was requested, as well as, you know, going over jam, false transponder codes, and all that as well. So as long as you guys want to keep commenting, or you can email us at reconspecialisttv at gmail.com, let us know what rules you want clarified, and we can do those videos for you. So we're going to first cover the actual rules and what it says in the rule book for strain and deplete, and then we're going to go over a few examples on, you know, certain timing windows, triggers, what the strain actually does if you have more than one, or, you know, if you've been shot already and you've already shot and stuff like that, because I know you guys have a lot of questions. So, strain first. A ship is strained while it has at least one strain token. While a strained ship defends, it rolls one fewer defense die. The strain token is a red token. So keep that in mind for when you look at your cards and you see something that, while the ship has a red token, or you may spend a red token, and so on and so forth. After a strained ship applies the effect to roll one fewer defense die, in this way, it removes a strain token. So we're going to go over the timing window for that, because it is relatively important for when that strain actually comes off. Same thing with deplete, because it reads very similar. After a strain ship executes a blue maneuver, it removes one strain token. Now we're going to read the deplete rule, and you're going to notice very similar language, but just which die it affects, either attacking or defending. So for deplete, a ship is depleted while it has at least one deplete token. While a depleted ship performs an attack, it rolls one fewer attack die. Deplete tokens are red tokens. After a depleted ship applies the effect to roll one fewer attack die this way, it removes one deplete token. After the depleted ship executes a blue maneuver, it removes one deplete token. So you'll recognize each token. The strain is kind of like an up red arrow, and the deplete kind of looks like a laser blast or a attack icon. But while these tokens are next to your ship, whether it's one or if it's a hundred, you are either strained or depleted. So let's go over deplete first. So in this example, we have Ubel that has a deplete token next to them while they're shooting at Oddball. So let's say that Ubel has chosen the Synced Laser Cannon, which normally comes with three attack dice. Because there is a deplete token next to Ubel, we reduce the dice pool by one, and then we remove the deplete token. And then we can resume our normal attack, which would be to roll two dice, and then apply the damage after Oddball has rolled defense, and therefore can spend the focus and only take one crit. So, in that example, Ubel only had one deplete token. Even if Ubel had five, the chain reactions would still be the same. You would reduce your die pool by one, you would remove one deplete token after you've built your dice pool, and then continue on with the attack. Each time Ubel attacks, however, you're going to have to reduce your attack by one until you have no remaining deplete tokens, and then on your next attack, you can roll normal dice. And it also doesn't matter what you're attacking with, whether it's a turret, a torpedo, your primary weapon, or, uh, you know, even just the sync laser turret, just like we did, it is while attacking, not while you're attacking with your primary or anything else. It's also important to note that when you have a weapons failure on top of a deplete token, that is going to stack and reduce your die pool even more. So you're going to have to either remove the deplete, fix the weapons failure, in order to get your dice pool back up to the top. Because we're also going to go over exact timings for these sorts of things, because it is going to matter down the line, especially when we're teaming those up with abilities, crew members, gunners, and so on and so forth. So now that we've seen the deplete, we're going to take a look at strain, which is very similar, but in the defense pools uh, category rather than the attack. So let's go take a look. So we're going to use Ubel and Oddball again as our example. Ubel is going to be shooting at Oddball with the synced laser cannon. We roll our normal attack and spend and modify in any way that we can. In this case, it's only one hit. However, we're going to then build the defense dice pool for Oddball, which is only one because it is range two. And then we remove the die and then remove the strain because the strain reduces our dice pool by one. Therefore, there are no dice left meaning the one hit then goes through. So, always build your dice pool, subtract by one if you have a strain, one or more next to you, it doesn't matter how many strain you have, it is only reducing your dice pool by one. If you have something like structural damage, that's gonna reduce your dice pool by two. So keep that in mind, because those can stack. 
And I also, again, want to mention, no matter how many times you defend or how many times you attack, if you have those tokens next to you, you have to apply those effects. But the great thing is, is every time you do defend, you remove one of those tokens. So even if you've removed one from a previous attack, if another ship attacks you, or if it's a bonus attack from the same ship, you then remove a token each time you defend. The last thing I'm going to mention, which is the simplest, is in order to remove stress, strain, and even deplete, because I want to add stress into this little bit, you have to execute, or you can't, you don't have to, you can execute a blue maneuver, and that removes one of those tokens. Now, the important part is it removes one of each of the tokens that I just mentioned. So if you have one stress, one strain, and one deplete, you can execute a blue maneuver and remove one of each of those tokens. So that's pretty incredible and amazing. So even if like you're getting nailed from multiple sides and you're you know, you already have a stress from the previous turn. It's like, don't worry, I can execute a blue maneuver and that removes one of each of those tokens. If you have one or, or if you have more than one of those tokens, so let's say you have two strain, you execute the blue maneuver, you remove one strain. You can't remove both. I'm also going to note because people will ask and also think that they can outsmart the system. Let's say that you have two strain, two stress, and two deplete tokens, and you execute a blue maneuver. You can't then say, well, I could remove a deplete, but I'm going to remove two strain instead, as well as a stress. It doesn't work like that. You can only remove one of each of those tokens. And because you executed a blue maneuver, you must remove them, which is also another key thing. You can't execute a blue maneuver and still keep those. They must come off. Okay, as always, my favorite part is to come up with the craziest timing windows to give you an idea of what it could look like or if you have a question down the road. So in this scenario, Oddball has Suppressive Gunner and he has the initiative, so I-5, I-5, the Oddball will shoot first. Let's just say he rolls a hit crit, but decides instead of spending a focus because he can't modify his dice, he's going to spend it for Suppressive Gunner, which then assigns a Deplete token to our Ubel. Now we roll to see, you know, defense and stuff. So Ubel is going to roll, let's say, an Evade and suffers a crit damage. Now it is Disabled Power Regulator. That doesn't matter for this scenario or this moment. So that's going to also trigger Ubel's ability, which is after a friendly ship at range 0 to 2 defense, if it was dealt a damage card, you may perform a bonus attack against the attacker. So we're going to attack back onto Oddball. As you'll notice, we now have the Deplete token next to Ubel. This is a bonus attack. We're going to reduce the attack by one because of the deplete that removes the deplete token then we may proceed with a bonus attack which we're going to use synced laser cannon it's now one hit we're going to roll one defense and it is a blank now we also have tiber saxon on ubel which is after you perform an attack at range 1 to 2, that hits. If the defender has no face-up damage cards, you may spend one or more charges. For each charge you spend, the defender gains one strain. So then we're going to spend those two charges and put on two strain tokens. And you'll notice the deplete has triggered the bonus attack that Ubel got and removed the deplete. And then on the bonus attack we assigned two strain to oddball so that was just from oddball's attack then triggering ubel's ability we now go over to ubel attacking and you'll notice there's no deplete tokens next to him and we can then use our synced laser cannon and roll all three dice rather than two because we're not depleted any longer however now we have the strain that's on oddball so normally we would roll one die because of the strain. We remove that die, then we remove the strain token. The last bit of information I'm gonna give you before we move on to other examples is range zero shots. These can still be affecting your shot and also your defense. 
because when you are shooting at range zero, you can't modify your opponent's dice. However, your dice can be modified by negative effects, such as weapons failure and also a deplete token. So even if you're at range zero and normally you roll three attack dice, you're now rolling two, which then does remove your deplete after you attack. Same thing with strain. If you're defending at range zero and you normally will roll one die, you are now rolling zero dice. And then after you defend, it does come off because there are effects that won't let your opponent modify their attack dice when shooting range zero, but there are still effects that can modify your own dice, and you have to keep that in mind for range zero. All right, another example, my favorite pilot to use, Cad Bane. He is going to be shooting at Ubel. Uberl already shot and missed. Cad Bane now gets to use his synced laser cannon as well. So normally that would be three attack dice, but you'll notice he is depleted. So we're going to reduce that down to two and perform our normal attack. Because we've done that, the deplete now comes off and we continue with our attack. So it's one hit. Ubel's going to roll one die, gets an evade, and let's say it was a focus. And because it's in the bullseye of Cad, he can't modify it because it's dead to rights, and the attack goes through. Now, Cad Bane's ability is, after he hits, he can spend two charges and pass a red token to Ubel. You'll notice the deplete's gone. We spent it, or it was removed when we built our dice pool. So don't think that Cad Bane can pass this off because it is build your dice pool, which is three, reduce it by one, which then removes the deplete. So then we continue with our attack. We then roll a focus with Ubel, and then it's after Cad Bane successfully hits a pilot, he can then spend charges to move the red token. So keep that in mind, because it really can end up affecting how your game goes, especially when you don't know when the timing window is. And if you don't know when it is, you can go to a place that I love, which is Atomic Mass Games Forums. It has all of the games that they produce, such as Legion and also Crisis Protocol and X-Wing. You go to their forum, you click on X-Wing, and then there is a search bar to where you can search keywords, which I did. I searched Strain, and it came up with an actual response from, believe it or not, one of the developers of the game. Because yes, when you ask a questions in the forum, a developer responds, they tell you how the game works. Also, top judges will respond in there, and even uh, you know people who work for the company that know the game. And the person asks, "What happens if you know I'm defending, and when does exactly the strain come off?" And Chris M actually tells you. A strain is removed during step 3A of the attack chart before 3B, which if you look at the attack chart, it'll tell you exactly when it comes off. So in that case, Cad does not get to move his deplete token over to Ubel. Now, if he had a strain token, he could, because when he attacks, that strain doesn't come off. It stays on him because he's attacking, not defending. So keep all of these things in mind when you're playing this game when it comes to strain and deplete because it does really matter. I mean, because the same thing with Snapshot. If Snapshot went off because, you know, Ubel moved into that range and we had Cad Bane shooting back, the deplete still affects that Snapshot, which could technically, you know, help him in the long run because then his primary or his uh, sync laser cannon will then be at full. It won't be reduced by one, which is really great. But you know, then your snapshot doesn't go off and you're not going to be able to pass that deplete over to him. So just keep all of that in mind. So that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I thoroughly enjoy making videos like this for new players or even, you know, veteran players who still get the rules wrong, just like myself. And it's a great lesson for me to learn. If you have any questions, if you would like a rule explained or an in-depth uh, example like that I like to give here, please leave a comment below or email us at reconspecialisttv at gmail.com, and we can try to make a video for it. We've already got requests for jam and also false transponder codes, so we're going to go over that as well and try to go over as many timings or you know examples as possible. And we're going to keep making videos like this for abilities, timing, and so on and so forth, because you know, as much as I like reading things, Things online. I'm a visual person. I like visual examples, and I'm sure that's what everyone is also here for. So thank you so much. Don't forget to click like and subscribe, 
And lastly, please go check out reconpaintgaming.com. It has all of our information, such as our social media, our merchandise, and you know, podcasts, Facebook, all that stuff. And also remember to play casual. <laughs>